Mount Meburitiyama, the home of the LEGO World's most difficult obstacle course. Divided into four stages, 50 competitors will take on its 14 brutal obstacles in their quest to achieving Kansen Seha and bragging rights. Our 50 competitors come from all walks of life, from policemen to ninjas to construction workers, etc. They have all practiced their butts off in their quest to defeating all four stages and potentially reaching the top of the tower. Does anyone have what it takes to defeating all four stages and potentially becoming the first grand champion of this new LEGO Sasuke? We are about to find out in the ultimate survival attack, LEGO Sasuke GX! Hello nerdies and nerds, I'm Tails, and welcome to the first tournament of LEGO Sasuke GX. And no, this is not LEGO Sasuke 8 or 9 if you count the April Fools video we did back a while back. But this is a new tournament, we're starting back from Tournament 1. Nothing from the old series is canon here. So 50 competitors will be taking on 4 stages of increasingly difficult obstacles and see if any of them have what it takes to achieve Kansen Seha. So with that said, let's go down to the first stage. The journey to achieving Kansen Seha begins here on the first stage where they'll face six obstacles. Their first test will be the bar clamber. Competitors will run up and clamber onto this bar and then jump to this platform right here. Next, they'll take on the balance bridge where they'll balance themselves across this small bridge to reach the other side. Next, they will take on the hill drop. The competitors will drop down through this hill and time their jump correctly onto this platform right here. And then it's the hill drop's next door neighbor, the hill climb. The competitors will climb up this hill and try to reach the top. Next, they'll take on the shaking bridge, where competitors will run across this bridge, but must do it quickly, because once they run across, they'll tilt over like that, as seen there. And finally, it's the bull leap, a classic obstacle from the old series. Competitors will hop across three bowls, and then must hit this green buzzer in under 60 seconds to complete the first stage. The crowd is getting very excited because our first competitor is at the starting grid right now. It's a Stormtrooper. It's probably TK421. Why isn't he at his post? I have no idea. He's probably taking the holiday off since Last Jedi had already finished filming. But let's see how he does as the first competitor of Lego Sasuke. And the timer has started. He extends his arms to reach the bar glamour. He's onto the bar and must jump here, which he has done successfully. He's beaten the first obstacle onto the balance bridge. He must balance his way across this bridge. And he has done that successfully and now must attempt the hill drop. He doesn't have much time, however, going into this hill drop. Which he's beating it. He only has 28 seconds, so he must hurry up here on the hill climb. Ooh, he kind of got caught up there. He's going to have to try again. All right, let's see how he does on his second attempt on the hill climb. He's climbing, he's climbing. Oh, no. It's not successful either. He only has 10 seconds. The klaxon has sounded. Oh, so close, so close. Is he even going to be able to make it up? Oh, he's only taking one attempt, and now it's not successful. He's out of time. Our first competitor fails here on the hill climb. Construction worker Mark Blitz is off. He's onto the bar, and he jumps. Oh, no! He fails. He couldn't make the dismount. No! At the starting grid right now, it's a policeman, Harold Jeffery. He said he put in a lot of training for this course. Let's see how he does. We'll have 60 seconds to defeat six obstacles. 
And he's off onto the bar clamber. He's easily for that into the balance bridge. Taking a careful approach, but he makes it through nevertheless. Good pace so far going into the hill drop. He goes down it and makes the jump successfully onto the hill climb. No one's made it through this so far. Can he be the first? And yes, he is the first. Very good pace so far as he goes into the shaking bridge. He'll be the first to attempt this. And yes, he makes it through onto the bull leap. And yes, he's clear with 20 seconds to spare. Harold Jeffery has become our first finisher. So Harold, how are you feeling? <sighs> feeling pretty good. Glad to know I was the first to do it. And let's see how I do on the second stage. He's, oh, he's having trouble balancing. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Can he continue? Oh, baby steps. But one at a time. One at a time. This is definitely not going to help his time. Whoa. He's losing it. He's losing it. Halfway through. He only has 33 seconds. Oh, come on. Come on. You gotta go. We're gonna run out of time if you don't go. Whoa. No. He couldn't beat the balance bridge. All right. She looks into the balance bridge. Are we doing good so far? Doing good. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. She lost it all. Rest a little going into it, but she's on it nevertheless. No, no, she's out. She couldn't make the distance. No, I will kick you, my pretty, and your next dawn neighbor, too. <laughs> Up next is Marco Yato, and there's her sister Anzu who will be running right after her. Her sister giving Marco good luck before his run. Marco is a part-time cashier at a local Walmart, so let's see how he does. He's good with numbers, but will he be good at this course? He's doing good so far going into the balance bridge. He oftentimes uses some of the appliances at the store to train on, so that's kind of clever. But how will he do on the hill drop? This just took out Grunt Elda, but not Marco as he enters the hill climb. He's climbing, climbing, climbing. And yes, he's made it up in one. Now on to the shaking bridge. This is one of the tougher obstacles if you're not prepared enough. And he's beating it, he's beating it into the bowl leap. Alright, he's into the second one. Ooh, kind of a little hung on. He's... Trying to steady it, trying to get enough balance into the third bowl. The clax is sounding, but he's cleared with six seconds left on the clock, and Marco has done it. He's the second to clear. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. Clock. Yes, yes, yes. What a tremendous run by Marco Yato. He'll be joining Harold Jeffrey in the second stage. And now Marco's sister Anzu is up. Anzu Yako is through the bar climber, heading up to the balance bridge. She's at a good pace so far. Nicely through the balance bridge. And now progresses her way to the hill drop. Now Anzu, preparing to enter the hill drop. She looks down and makes her assault, and yes, yeah, she's made it. Now staring at the hill climb, but only 26 seconds. She must hurry up, considering her brother only cleared us six seconds left. No, oh, come on, Anzu. She looks worn out. I don't know if I can do it. She doesn't know if she can do it, but she's giving it another attempt, nevertheless. The class is telling Oh, she got a hand on it. She got a hand on it. She almost had it. She almost had it. No. She's out of time. Dang it. That was just too much. Next up, we have a beautiful lady. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't think he was... Uh, this is Kalmborg. 
He is a role player, and that's why he's wearing the weird outfit. But nevertheless, he will have 60 seconds to attack the Bark Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you failure! Get out of here! But he must hurry up. He only has less than 20 seconds left going into the shaking bridge. Oh no no! Fin fin no! He's out on the shaking bridge. He didn't attack it quickly enough. Onto the balance bridge. Taking a careful approach. Oh no no! He lost his balance. Andy Miller no! Into the balance bridge. Oh, what is he doing? No, no, that's not how you do it, you moron. Okay, now let's do it. He's into it now. Oh, no, no, no. He couldn't time his jump correctly. Oh, no. What is this at the starting line? A princess? Yes, this is Princess Pink. She recently competed in Spartan South State 10 with the Gamer Tag Princess Pink GX. Where she made it all the way to the second obstacle, the Gunslinger. However, that was a video game. This is real life. So how will she do here on this course? Her long legs may not help her here. She's trying to gain enough speed. Oh, she's on it, but she's having trouble hanging on. Ooh, 50 seconds. She's ha still trying to grab on. Ooh, no, 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 no. Come on. She gotta, she's gotta climb up. Ooh, this may take a while, so we're gonna cut to a quick commercial break. Are you tired of microtransactions, loot boxes, and wreck packs, and you want a real world alternative? Well, you're in luck with Amiibos. This here is just one of many Amiibos out there. This one modeled after myself. Oh, isn't he cute? Well, you can get yours today for the very cheap price of $40. Yes, $40. That's very cheap these days, so don't miss. Buy yours today. And remember, if you buy 10,000 Amiibos, you'll win this limited edition of Kirby's Return to Dreamland with bonus DLC levels never before released to the general public. But there's more. If you buy 10 million Amiibos, then, role-playing Garchomp will have Princess Pink clear stage one of LEGO Sasuke GX! That's Spartan Sasuke. Order your Amiibos today, or I will devour you in your sleep. Welcome back to LEGO Sasuke GX! Princess Pink, she's still hanging on with 15 seconds left! Oh, she's having trouble! The Titan's about to sound! Oh! Ooh, can she do it? Can she do it? Ooh, come on, come on, oh, no, no, she's not gonna do it, she ran out of time and she fell off anyway. <laughs> Susan Delina, she's having trouble here on the hill climb. She's making her second attempt. Oh, it's not successful. Third attempt as the Claxon sounds. Susan, no, no, she slides right back down. Here she goes, four for Tim, no, she gets caught up, and she goes for it, she's going for it, no, she's out of time. Blake Garfield is off, and he fails on the very first obstacle, no! Can his brother William Garfield do any better? Ooh, he's actually on the bar this time, and oh no, 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 he fell back, he fell back, he touched the carpet, it's disqualification. Into the hill time. Oh no, no, no! Oh, he lost his balance. He couldn't make the jump. Yay! And Bob the policeman is off. He's heading quickly into the balance bridge. Good pace so far. Not as crazy as the last run we had, but he's onto the hill drop. He now prepares to enter the hill drop. He's sliding down. Good job. He's through it. Onto the hill climb now. He's a little slow. He's going to slip off here. Oh, first attempt not successful. Second attempt. 30 seconds. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. You've got to get up this. you got to get up this. And he has. 
On to the shaking bridge. He has less than 20 seconds. Who kind of cheats himself, but he's through it. Bob the policeman. Can he do it? Bob the policeman. Yes, he can. He clears. Booty Pablo, he's off. He's on top of the bar climber. Can he make this jump? Oh no, no, he fell back! Oh, what a tragedy! Allow me to take over as the announcer for the next 20 runs. Batter the number 21, Chris Muwada. And I bet his favorite phrase is Hakuna Muwada. What a terrible last name. Seriously, where does role playing dodge up even come up with this crap? Anyways, Chris Muwata, you'll have 60 seconds to beat the first stage. And it's on top of the bar, Clemmer, heading into the balance bridge. He's on a decent pace so far, but he's going to have to be a little more quick if he wants to clear within the time limit. Off the hill drop and hill climb, proving to be brutal with our first 20 competitors. But Chris Muwata, blazing for it nevertheless. Let's see if, how well he can do on the shaking bridge. He's lining up, and it doesn't even shake. He's doing quite well into the ball leap. It looks like he's going to have the fastest time, and he does with 22 seconds remaining. Chris Muwata, he's in Akuna Matata, his way to the second stage. Scared K to him. Oh, he jumps straight on to the bar, the bar clamber. Impressive by him. K to him through the balance bridge. And no, no, he looked like he was going to beat it, but no. At the starting grid now, we have a furry, Laura Sonata. So how will she purr her way for the course? 60 seconds. And the furry is off, Lola. Having a little trouble grabbing onto the bar. Hopefully not as much trouble as Princess Pink earlier. Hey! Shut up, you. Anyways, Laura Sonata is beating the first obstacle. She's a little slow going into the balance bridge. Her heavy suit may be a disadvantage here on this obstacle. And oh no, it is! And she has fallen. The furry is out. Alright, heading on to the bar climber, Gibson Mash. And he's into the balance bridge. He is an accountant in the city of Vandergrift. And he makes an annual salary of nearly 100,000 studs. Can't believe I had trouble saying studs there for a moment. Anyways, Gibson Nash beaten, beats the hill drop and into the hill climb. And he's struggling to get up, but he's through the hill climb nevertheless. On now to the shaking bridge. He's taking a while getting into it, and he's through it onto the ball leap. He's using the backs of him, and he's done it. He's cleared. Oh, going nuts for him as he's the fifth person to clear the first stage. Next up on the course, we have a Grim Reaper, Gorgeous Satin. His occupation killing people. That's pretty dark occupation to say the least, but he's on to the first obstacle. Ooh, he's trying to use his staff. He's trying to use his staff, and it works. And now on to the balance bridge. He says he can beat this course with just his staff alone. He says he's invincible, but is he really, though? No, no, he's not. He is not. He slowed down and lost his balance. We're halfway through and only five people have cleared so far. Hell, Jeffrey, Marco Yano, Bob the Policeman, Chris Muwata, and Gibson Nash are the victors of the first stage up to the halfway mark. Kicking off the second half is the Dragon. He did not give a specific name, so we're just going to call him the Dragon. So, how will the Dragon do? He's off and... He's running into the bar climber, and he has successfully completed the obstacle. Alright, he's heading through the balance bridge. And he's through the balance bridge, heading to the hill drop. Your fate with a suit as heavy as that, he would be much slower up to this point. But no, he only has 34 seconds. 
which is good to this point, which, and it's especially good since he got up the hill climbing one. But how will he fare on the shaking bridge? He said he was worried about this obstacle. He has 20 seconds left. Should be enough time to make it through the rest of the stage. He goes for it. He goes, no, no, he fell off the left, no. Casey Flora, on to the bar clamber. Casey Flora, in no way does it sound like Casey Catanzaro. This is a completely different Casey, but no, no, no. She's touched the ground. She's touched the support, and she's out. After so much of me talking about how she ripped off Casey Catanzaro. And now Spider-Man is on the course. Why he's wearing a tuxedo is beyond me. I guess he takes obstacle courses formally. So kudos to him, I guess. I don't know. Spider-Man with a tuxedo. He's completed the hill drop into the hill climb now. Oh, not a very good run up. He's going to have to try again. And he has made it up. Spider-Man has less than 30 seconds going into the shading bridge. And he's well for that. Into the ball lane quickly, and he's cleared! With more than 20 seconds left, Spider-Man is heading to the second stage! Faulkner doomed out onto the balance bridge. He's heading through it. No, no, he lost his balance at the very end. What was that? Heatman doing very well. He's about to play out, and Heatman has done it. He is cleared with 13 seconds left. Heatman moving on to the second stage. Natalia Moneypenny is off, and she's quickly into the bounce bridge. She is a secret agent for MI5. And now, Natalia Moneypenny through the hill drop, now preparing to enter the hill climb. Oh no, she misses on her first go. She's resting a little, with 36 seconds left. She has plenty of time if she can get up it here. Well, she doesn't, no! Come on, third attempt. You gotta get up and soon you're a secret agent. You should be able to scale these things pretty easily, but apparently not. 20 seconds, she may not have enough time left if she gets up. Ooh, come on. And she's up it now. But not enough time. She only has less than 10 seconds going into the shaking bridge. Ooh. And she threw it, going into the foley. Can she be the first one to clear? No, she's out of time. Next up is Secret Agent Google 7 Bames John. Both him and Natalia are from MI5. So how will the other MI5 agent do here on Lego Sasuke GX? And Bames John quickly into the balance bridge. We see no time whatsoever on this course. Ooh, but he fell back. That's going to cost him some time indeed, but he's recovering. Going into the hill drop and the hill climb. And he's up the hill climb in one. Bam Sean aiming for the fastest time. And it looks like he's going to do it. He clears with 31 seconds. That is the fastest time he cleared with more than half the time remaining. Oh, what a beast this secret agent is. Yes, you how you beat the motherfucking crap out of the first stage, man. The Borrowed and Ninja enters the shaking bridge. He's through it onto the ball leap. And he's going to get a quick time. 24 seconds remaining, and the Borrowed and Ninja has done it. Next up is the Car Aven, a member of the BFI, Brit Force Institute. So, how will this special forces officer do? The Car Aven. On to the bar clamber. He's heading into the balance bridge. Oh, he's using the same technique that Nitrous tried earlier but failed, but he's now for it. Somehow we had one guy manage to pull that technique off as the car heads into the hill climb. He's up it in one. Is he going to rival Bames John for the fastest time? He has 35 seconds. Looks like he's nice. He's gonna take this shaking bridge very carefully. But he's through it despite a little struggle and he clears with 26 seconds left and the car even is moving on to the second stage. 10 clears now and next up is Ronavalda, 
another member of the BFI, and she will take her shot at the first stage. Rona Valda, easily through the bar clamber, quickly through the balance bridge. This is probably the fastest of any female we've seen so far, and she's about to enter the hill drop. Can Rona do it? She's about to enter the hill drop. Rona Valda into the hill climb. Oh, not a very good run up. She'll have to try again. 36 seconds. She should have enough time. And she's up it. Earlier, Natalia came close to clearing the first stage. But can Rona Valda be the first to do it? She's on pace to doing so. And she is. She clears with 20 seconds left. And this is a much faster pace than some of the men earlier. So, Rona, how does it feel being the first woman to clear the first stage? Feels pretty good. It shows that any, any gender can do it. And see how I do on the second stage. Let's stop taking on the course as a prisoner. See, I told you these competitors come from all walks of life. His name is the Brickster, and two of our earlier competitors are keeping a close eye on him because he does have a tendency to steal bricks. That is his most common crime when it comes into the world of Lego. He has stolen several bricks, money, whatever. However, the Brickster, this prisoner, how will he do on an obstacle course? He's on the bar clamber and he's done it and he's on to the balance bridge he's carefully traversing it could be going faster he only has 40 seconds but he's been it and he chases the bricks so that's something you do at Indianapolis not on later Sasuke GX it's a bit of a show off so far, and it has cost him a quite a lot of time. He only has 23 seconds going into the hill climb. Oh, wow, that was pathetic. He's gonna have to try again. The Bridgester, second tipped on the hill climb. Nope. He only has. He only has 10 seconds left. He's gonna have to hurry up the class and sound it. Oh! He doesn't seem that strong. He's gonna have to try again, though no, he's going to run out of time, and the Brickster has fallen. Next up, Robert Ashwin. He's onto the bar clamber. No, no, he's fallen off. What is he doing? Oh, you are a moron. Get out of here. You are pathetic. Our next competitor, Tom Kadir. Oh, he pushes the bar clamber a bit further, but he's through it nevertheless. Kind of a weird angle going into the balance bridge, but somehow making it work going into the hill drop. Let's see if he can do the hill drop. He's sliding down, climbing. No, no, he's come up short. Wait a minute, is this a raccoon at the start line? Oh, yeah. Yes, this is Rocky Raccoon. He's the shortest of our competitors, so that might be a disadvantage here on this course, but let's see how he does. Nevertheless, it's not on the bar clamber, but it shouldn't be a problem for him on the balance bridge. Ew, this is where his height could be at a disadvantage. He's struggling up on the runway, and now has reached the hill drop. Let's see if he can do it. Yes, he's through it. He's on to the hill climb now. His height really made me a disadvantage here. He fails on his first row. Oh no. He fails on the second row. He takes a moment to rest. He only has 18 seconds left. He's gonna have to hurry up here. Oh, third attempt. Here he goes. No, no. He has failed the third attempt. Fourth attempt as it lasts and sounds. Ooh, oh, he's hanging on. No, no. Falling off, course out, course out. Last competitor before I have to give up my announcer booth to my two tailed deformed fox again. Here we have Han Mono, and in no way, shape, or form is he related to the now deceased Han Solo. I really don't think I'm giving away anything when I say that Han Solo died in Force Awakens, and if you didn't know that, well, you're an idiot. Anyways, Han Mono, 60 seconds. Into the bar clamber. Uh, he's doing well at the moment. He's 
Heading into the balance bridge, but no, he's lost his balance. No, he is out. And Hanmona, Hanmono falling off the course like Han Solo fell to his death in the Force Awakens. I would hear you for saying that. Ah, uh, you're a later feeder. What can you do to a hedgehog like me? 40 competitors have run the first stage so far. 11 have cleared, and now the last 10 are ready to take on the first stage. Kicking off the last 10 runs is Mr. Chomp. Mr. Chomp seems like a ferocious opponent to the obstacle course, but how will he handle it? Charge! And he's charging straight into the course. Whoa, what tremendous speed out of Mr. Chomp. But even fast competitors like him have to rest before the hill drop. Oh, a little close call, but he makes it through nevertheless. Both the hill drop and climb beaten as he heads into the shading bridge. And he's done it. Fastest time with 35 seconds left to spare. Into the balance bridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. He nearly fell off there, taking different approaches while maintaining his balance. Oh no, he slipped! Ah! But is running short on time. Come on, Forp, he's on the shady bridge! No, Forp, he's out! It's Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States of America, is about to take on Lego Sasuke. He'll have 60 seconds. And Abe Lincoln is off. How will this former president of the United States fare? He was president back in the 19th century during the American Civil War. And will now enter the hill drop. This has been a deadly obstacle. This and its brother the hill climb. How will Abe Lincoln do? Ooh, not very good on that first attempt. He rests a little. 32 seconds left as he goes in for his second attempt. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Ooh, ooh, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Yes, he's made it. But he has to hurry up. 20 seconds going into the shaking bridge. And Abraham Lincoln goes into the bowl leap, and Abe Lincoln clears with 13 seconds. Well done to the former U.S. president. I bet Donald Trump wouldn't be able to make it that far. Ooh, 17 seconds left for Simon Ferris as he enters the shaking bridge. Simon onto the bowl leap. He's taking his time, but he must hurry up. The clock's in sounding, and clear! Winner, 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 winner. Ben makes it through the balance bridge. Ben Daytona into the hill drop. And Ben, oh no, no, what was that? You're supposed to be standing up. What was that, Ben? Come on. Anakin Skywalker enters the balance bridge. Will the force be with him? No, he's falling off. <sighs> Blame Obi Wan for this. Ugh. Only three competitors are left to take on the first stage of the of Lego Sasuke GX1. Next to take on the course is Batman. How will this superhero from Gotham City fare? And Batman is off. Da 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 Batman. Da 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 Batman. He's on a very quick pace so far as he makes it through the hill climb. What blazing speed by Batman as he enters the shaking bridge and the bowl leap. Batman, he's taking his time here on this. Say on this last obstacle. Oh, he's resting. He knows he has enough time. He's wow. He's just gonna rest there. He's just showing off at this point, I believe. Oh, he's going backwards. What is he even doing? Just hit the buzzer already. All right, he clears the 15 seconds left. What a show off. <sighs> oh, Batman. I love to show off on this obstacle. Like my bathtub. I like to stay in it. Rubber, roll around. 
and hit the buzzer. Eventually. Here I come, second stage. Only two competitors are left. They are two of the strongest competitors around. Kai Smith and Ken Smith. These two brothers sworn rivals. And now, trying to prove who's the best on this obstacle course. And Kai Smith showing no mercy at all as he heads into the course. He's already halfway through up the hill climb. Should we even have a time limit for these two guys? Uh, Kai Smith, he just cleared with 43 seconds. What was this blazing fry? Like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. It'll be tough for his brother Ken to beat that. <sighs> beat that, Ken. <sighs> well, with that, we have now come to the final run here on the first stage of Lego Sasuke GX1. It is Ken Smith, a common nickname he is given is the Red Demon, and if anyone interferes with him, he will surely give them a bloodbath. Now, Ken Smith, the most famous ninja around, is here to take on Lego Sasuke GX, and he is off heading into... The hill drop and the hill climb, and he's already through it. It's going to be tough for him to beat his brother's time, but he clears with 43 seconds left. It seemed like their pace was even almost. We'd have to go into the edge to see who was faster, but both of them cleared with 43 seconds left. And with that, that will conclude the first stage of the 50 half attempted. 17 managed to clear the first stage. They are Harold Jeffrey, Marco Yato, Bob the Policeman, Chris Muwata, Gibson Nash, Spider Man, Heat Man, Bames John, The Baron Ninja, Dakar Avon, Rona Valda, Mr. Chomp, Abraham Lincoln, Simon Ferris, Batman, Kai Smith, and Ken Smith. These 17 competitors will all be taking on the second stage. Man, what a fantastic show it has been here on the first stage. Why, yes, it has, Sonic. We have 17 people moving on to the second stage, one of them even being a female. Yes, competitors from all walks of life managed to clear the first stage, and now they'll be tested here on the second stage. Alright, so with that said, let's head into the second stage. <laughs> The second stage of Mount Libertyama. Four obstacles, much harder than the one seen on the first stage. The second stage begins with the spider walk. Predators will wedge their feet and crawl across dirty bricks of the spider walk. Next, they'll tackle the gear spin, where the gear will spin around like crazy, and they must balance themselves and gain enough distance to make the dismount. Next, they'll tackle the conveyor belt, where they'll crawl through this small conveyor belt, make it out, and then tackle the weightlifting, where they'll lift one pound weights, two pound weights, and three pound weights, and hit the blue buzzer in 50 seconds to advance to the third stage. Well, let's get the second stage started with Harold Jeffery, the first competitor ever to clear the first stage, and Lego Sasuke will now be the first to take on the second stage of Lego Sasuke. GX. It's the first to clear the first stage of Lego Sasuke GX, and now we'll take on the second stage. We'll have 50 seconds. And, and he's off. He extends his legs as he enters the spider walk. He's on a careful pace. Not going too fast nor too slow. And he makes it through. Al Jeffrey now prepares to enter the gear spin. He's on the gear spin. It's spinning around like crazy. He goes for it and he makes it. Now must crawl his way into the conveyor belt. He's down to less than 20 seconds. 17 now. He's struggling but he's through it. He's low on time going into the weight lifting. Can he lift these weights? He's lifted one pound into two pounds. He lifts it. Three pounds. And he's done it! He's cleared! He's cleared barely, but he's done it! 
Oh, Jeffrey. I've successfully made it through the second stage. Yes! Woo! Can Marco Yato follow in Harold Jeffrey's success? He's on the spider walk now. He's starting to pick up the pace, picking up increasingly, and he's made it through. I must extend his arms for the gear spin. Oh, he's hanging on. No, he's touched the carpet. No, he's out. Bob the policeman, will he clear? Bob the policeman, no, he won't. He's out on the spider walk. No. Apologies for the horrible song I sang during Chris, Chris Muwada's first stage run, sorry. He's doing quite well here on the spider walk. Nicely threw it onto the gear spin. Ooh, he's hanging on barely. No, he can't hang on. He's out. Gibson Dash is into the gear spin. Ooh, he hangs on. Let's just spin it around. No, 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 he's falling off. The gear spin proving to be brutal today. Spider Man is running short on time going into the weightlifting. He's lifted one pound. Into two pounds. He's having trouble lifting it. No, he can't seem to lift it. He does now, but. Ooh, he's not even getting the three pound weight off. No, he's out of time on the weightlifting. He will not be joining Harold on the third stage. And Heat Man is off on the spider walk. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh no, he lost it. He's out. At the starting line right now is Secret Agent Google 07 Bames John. Fred Natalia is in the red stands. She failed stage one earlier. She almost cleared. Failing on the bowl leap, but now Bames John, the other MI5 agent, onto the second stage and the spider walk. Bames John. Nearing the halfway mark of the spider walk. He's going up and he's done it. Extending, extending his arms, going into the gear spin. And. Oh, it's spinning real rapid, rapidly. Oh, Bames John. He's trying to get a sense of direction. Oh, come on, Bames John. You have to get moving. You only have 20 seconds. Oh, and he's made it through. He's running short on time, going into the conveyor belt. And he's out of the conveyor belt, going into the weightlifting with the clock and sounding. Two pounds. He lifts it, three pounds, he's lifting it, he's having trouble. No, Babes John, he's out of time, he wasted too much time on the gear spin. And Babes John has failed. Dang it, man. Oh, come on, next competitor hasn't head to the starting line yet. Okay, there he goes. Anyways, Noboru the Ninja he is next. 50 seconds on the clock. As he enters the spider walk, he had a good pace on the first stage. Will he be able to keep that up here on the second stage? He rests a little before entering the deer spin. Uh, he's made it on. And no! Oh, he, he missed time, did he? If he jumped a little earlier, he probably would have had it, but no! Nine competitors have gone. Only one has cleared so far. Next up is Dakar Evan. Dakar Evan, a member of the BFI, he is off on the second stage, going into the spider walk. Lost a little balance there, but makes it through nevertheless. He extends his arms, going into the gear spin, and he blazes through that obstacle. The car Avon has plenty of time going into the conveyor belt. He's nearing the end of it. Having trouble getting out, but makes it through nevertheless into the one pound weight nicely. Oh, his hat fell off. His hat fell off. Oh, this is embarrassing to watch. But he's lifting the three pound weight nevertheless, and he's done it. He's cleared with 12 seconds remaining on the clock. That is the fastest time so far. The car has cleared, but he can't seem to find his hat. Come on, happy to help all he is. 
the sworn it was by. Oh, you may have found it. There it is. Our Avon will be joining Harold Jeffrey on the third stage. We have two players now. Let's to take on the second stage. We have the only female to make it to the second stage this tournament. Her name, Rana Valda. How will Rana do here on the second stage as the only female to make it here? She must set a prime example for her and other females that come in the future of Lego Sasuke GX. She's on a good pace here on the spider walk. She's out of it and she extends her arms for the deer spin. A good jump onto it, but ooh, it's starting to go a little while. She's trying to stay in the middle, try to prevent it from spinning as much. And here she goes. No, no, her strategy has not paid off. It's a good strategy. Try to keep it as still as possible. Then jump from there, but no, it doesn't pay off. And it's now Mr. Chomp's turn as he enters the spider walk. Going quickly through it. And he extends his arms for the gear spin. Good jump. And he makes it through. Mr. Chomp enters the conveyor belt. Now he's having a little trouble. Oh, it's going back. It's going back. Mr. Chomp has been rejected. Only 20 seconds left, he's gonna have to make another go at it. And he makes it through this time, but will it be enough going into the weightlifting? He lifts one pound. Can he lift two pounds with the classic sounding? Has trouble, but he lifts it. Three pounds now. Ooh, come on, come on. He's having trouble lifting it. And he lifts it, but no, he's out of time. Arrgh. Now, the 16th president, Abraham Lincoln. No, he has fallen on the spider wall. He's out on the first obstacle. Oh, and the president is out. He now extends his arms and enters the gear spin. Oh, no, he's falling straight off. And Batman is off into the spider wall. Oh, he's having trouble mounting. Oh, no. No, what was that, Batman? I don't like hitting like a spider. Uh, I need to try that. Hard. 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 Now just two competitors remain here on the second stage. Kai Smith and Ken Smith, two of the strongest competitors. Will they be able to join Harold and the car on the third stage. Kai Smith about to take on the second stage. And he's off quickly through the spider walk, wasting no time at all. Taking his time, extending his arms, going into the gear spin. Oh, what great technique! The best we've seen anyone do that obstacle so far. But he is struggling here on the conveyor belt, Kai. But he makes it through onto the weightlifting. One pound, two pounds, three pounds. He's lifting it and clears. He's cleared the second stage with 19 seconds left to spare. And it becomes only the third person to make it through the second stage. Hell Jeffrey, the car Evan, and Kai Smith. These are the three competitors that have cleared so far. 16 have taken on the second stage, and now one person is left, Ken Smith. Both him and I tied for the fastest time here on the first stage, but will Ken be able to exceed the time here on the second stage? And he's off into the spider walk. No buffering whatsoever, no hesitation into the gear spin, and he makes it through, and... Enters the conveyor belt. He's having a much smoother run through here. He lifts the one pound weight of the weightlifting, two pounds of the weightlifting, three pounds of the weightlifting, and Ken has done it. He set the fastest time with 21 seconds left, beating 
his brother Kai by two seconds. Well, here you have it, people. The four survivors of the second stage. Going from left to right, Harold Jeffrey, Dakar Haven, Kai Smith, and Kim Smith. These four competitors will now take on the third stage. Man, what a brutal second stage this was, Tails. Indeed, only four competitors managed to survive the second stage and now must take on the three obstacles of the third stage. If anyone can do it, I believe Kai Smith and Ken Smith can do it. Indeed, they are the two strongest competitors here, and if anyone can do it, it's definitely them. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's head into the third stage. Welcome to the third stage of Number 50 Emma. Although this stage is only three obstacles long, these are the three hardest obstacles. Beginning with the pillar path, competitors' balance will be pushed to the absolute limit as they must balance their way through 14 pillars. Next, they'll tackle the propeller bars, where competitors will head into one propeller and then another, and then jump into this orange platform right here. And then the final obstacle, the pole grasper. Seven poles our competitors must traverse, and then they must try to land on this platform right here to make it to the final stage tower right there out in the distance. Four competitors will be taking on the third stage this tournament. Harold Jeffrey, Dakar Avon, Kai Smith, and Ken Smith. They have stood the test of the first two stages, and now the first to go will be Harold Jeffery. We must now take on the third stage of Mount Mabrikiyama. Beginning with the pillar path. Once he reaches the blue part of this book, then he'll be safe. But if he touches the red, he'll be out. Now, Harold Jeffery. His balance will be tested here on this first obstacle. The pillar path. He's doing well so far. This is the tricky part. Going up. Here he goes. Oh, he's having trouble. No! Harold Jeffrey is out. He couldn't make the transfer to the seventh pillar. Uh, but a valiant performance by Harold Jeffrey, nevertheless. The very first attempt on the third stage. Only three competitors left. Next up, the car raven. He now approaches. The first obstacle of the third stage, the pillar path. Right now, it is the obstacle to beat. As no one has made it through it so far. The car even will be the second to attempt the third stage. Use a little different technique for those first two. This is where Harold failed. And the car makes it through. In this part... Nearing the second up part, Nabori and the car. He's done it. The car even has beaten the pillar path. Well done to him. One obstacle down, two left. Next up is the propeller bars. He must use his upper body to try to complete this obstacle. He's analyzing the propellers. Trying to analyze which path to take. And he's on the first propeller now. The second. And yes, he's done it. Only one obstacle stands in between the car even and the final stage. Next up, the pole grasper. It's the last obstacle of the third stage. And here he goes. He's on the first pole. He makes a transfer to the second pole. Third pole, he's nearing the halfway mark. Four, three more left now. Five, come on, oh no, he lost his hat again. He lost his hat again, oh dear. Sixth one, seventh one, now he must climb to the top of this pole. He's trying to gain enough distance to make the final leap, the final drop, and yes, he's done it! The car Avid has beaten the third stage and now he tries to retrieve his hat car even the first person to defeat the third stage and will be the first to attempt the final stage how are you feeling the car 
it's an honor to make it this far. You know, I don't know why my hat keeps falling off, but I'll take this victory nevertheless. Only two competitors left. Will any of them be able to join the car on the final stage? Next up, Kai Smith. Kai Smith said that the obstacles here on the third stage really worried him, but he must put that aside as he must now try to make it to the final stage. His first test, the pillar path. Quickly through the first part. Now, the transfer, he's... At a very quick pace so far, gets that second transfer, and he's through the pillar path. One down, two left, next up the propeller bars. Looks into the propeller bars, analyzing it, seeing what approach to take. The car even went pretty quickly on this obstacle. Let's see what Kai will do here. Alright, he's... On to the second, and yes, he's through! And can he join the car on the final stage? We're about to find out. He's into the pole grasper now. The last obstacle. He's going pretty quickly at the moment. Kind of taking a sideways approach to this. One more, and yes, he's climbing up the pole. To prepare for the drop. And yes! Yes, Kai Smith, he's going to the final stage! Wow, two competitors making it to the final stage, the car even and Kai Smith. And now only one competitor is left that can join those two on the final stage. It is the Red Demon, Ken Smith. He must take on the third stage and hopefully become the third person to make it to the final stage this tournament of Lego Sasuke GX. Ken Smith now prepares for the pillar path. Very quick pace. He had the fastest time on the second stage. It's the guy who likes to go fast. Now stings his arm and prepares for the propeller bars. If he can stop falling around, Chin Spiff it's into the propeller bar. Into the second. Oh, he's having having a little trouble. Oh, come on, Ken. Go, Gombadek. Come on, Ken. Go. No! Ken Smith is out on the propeller bars. He won't be joining his brother Kai, nor the car on the final stage. Uh, he feels devastated right now. He's been defeated by the third stage. The crowd in complete shock. Everyone thought he was going to at least make it to the final stage, but that will not be the case today. Poor Ken. His brother Kai beats him today. You win today, Kai. <sighs> well, with that, the Car Raven and Kai Smith will be the two competitors taking on the final stage. Will any of them be able to achieve Kans and Seha? That is the question. Will they be able to achieve Kans and Seha? I honestly have no idea. This final stage rope climb looks very hard, and it will be very tough for both Dakar and Kai to clear this final stage and achieve Kanz and Seha, but I, f I think it can be done, however, it will be very tough. Well, let's see if either of them can do it. Let's see if they can beat the final stage and achieve Kanz and Seha. Welcome. To the final stage of Mount Mabrukiyama. Two very brave competitors, Takara Aiden and Kai Smith, have stood the test of Lego Sasuke GX up to this point. And now they'll face the one obstacle of the final of the final stage, the rope climb. Forty bricks of rope stand in between our two competitors for achieving Kans and Seha and hitting this red buzzer. The time limit is very short. They'll only have 20 seconds to do so. 
both the car and Ty have shown much dedication throughout this tournament and now they're about to face their final test. First to go will be the car Raven. She will be the first competitor to attempt the final stage. There's Ty Smith, he'll be running after Car Raven. He is a member of the BFI, the Brit Force Institute, and now he'll try to achieve Tanz and Sehat, climb 40 bricks of rope to reach the top of the tower. Can he do it? Can he achieve Tanz and Sehat? He's off! Only 20 seconds to reach the top of the tower. He's nearing the 10 brick mark. With 12 seconds left, only 10 now. He's nearing the halfway mark of the tower, and he's not going as fast as he probably could be. Come on, the car, go, go, climb now! He's out of time. He was not able to reach the top of the tower, and the car has failed the final stage and was not able to achieve Kanz and Seha. There. There's Queen Sasuke, the founder of Lego Sasuke GX and Lego Sasuke before it. And now, hoping to see if just one of the 50 competitors will be able to clear this tower. Only one person is left. Kai Smith. He approaches the tower. Look at the monster he must face. Looks up. Seeing the distance he must find. Kai Smith. 20 seconds to reach the top of the tower. And he's off! Kai Smith! He is taking on the final stage of Lego Sasuke GX. He's halfway through as the clutch sounds. He is nearing the red mark. Can he reach the top of the tower? This is how much he has left. Two seconds. Come on, Kai. Come on, come on. No! He came so close, but no cigar! Tournament 1 of Lego Sasuke GX ends here. Here are the four people that made it to the third stage. Congratulating the two that made it to the final. They almost achieved Kanzen Seha. Unfortunately, that will have to wait for another tournament. And that will conclude the first tournament of Lego Sasuke GX. Man, what a tournament this was. I agree. Although all 50 failed, it was a very exciting tournament indeed. Two people making it to the final stage. And although none of them were able to reach the top, I feel like they will be able to do it again in the future. I do indeed. Well, that will conclude the first tournament. We'll see you next time for the Christmas tournament. Goodbye, nerdies and nerds.